all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first one collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot you don't share it I see the, the information will be say a day for my table be say military police don't raid and burn down ESN camp in Imo State. And uh, the current information will be say a day for my table. If you look for your screen, uh, you go see those materials where they there. They got so many things will be say they there. They say now waiting those boys uh, they used to operate for that side. Make we go to the full detail of the information, and if this one be true. And uh, uh, it will call them Black Wednesday for the land of freedom. They say police in Imo State said a joint operation with military has busted a camp of the Eastern Security Network ESN in Olo, Imo State. The statement has it that one person was arrested with arm and charms recovered from the building which he was later shown and burning a video shared by the police. The raid was related to moves by security agencies to rescue former chairman of Imo State Council of Traditional Ruler Eze Ohiri, who was recently kidnapped from his home in Orodo. The statement, which was signed by Sopol Henry Okoye, reads, As CP Danjuma reaffirms the command resolve to work harmoniously with the military and other security agencies in stamping out violent crimes in the state, following case of kidnapping involving Mr. Sabinus Ugwebu M, a road safety officer, and His Royal Highness Eze Ohiri, former Eze Imo State, as victims. Police operatives in robust synergy military on 0801 at about 0330 hours stormed a suspected terrorist camp at Ite Oure in Olo, local government area of Imo State, and arrested one suspect while others escaped with gunshot injuries after a protracting gunfire the terrorists. On searching the camp, one pump action gun, two double barrel guns, two single barrel guns, 54 rounds of live cartridges, military uniforms, six motorcycles, a box containing locally made explosive and road safety uniform of the kidnapped officer were recovered. A concerted investigative effort is in progress to arrest the fleeing suspect and possibly rescue the kidnapped victim. More development on this case will be communicated in due course. The Commissioner of Police Imo State, CP Abokidanjuma, reiterates that the command will continue to work closely with the military and other relevant security agencies towards stamping out all forms of crime and criminality in the state and vows that the command will not rest until the kidnapped victim are released and the culprit brought to book. Um, this one is coming live from you from um, uh, Energy Police. Um, they say they read one place, uh, but the thing where we say they surprise me, we say um, any small thing will happen. Uh, they go tag them, uh, saying an ESN is that is that I think um, before they should be making their tagging, uh, may they try to they do proper investigation. RCB EFCC don't detain ex humanitarian affairs minister over alleged 37.1 billion fraud. What say <laughs> um, You know, say the whole of Nigeria is 200 million plus, and one person they thief 37 point something billion. <laughs> um, I say Nigerian politicians soon are allow EFCC detains ex minister. Humanitarian Affairs Minister over alleged that 7.1 billion fraud. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has detained a former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Omar Farouk, for questioning over allegation of corruption in the handling of that 7.1 billion social investment fund during her tenure. Mrs. Omar Farouk arrived at the headquarters of the commission in Abuja in hour of an earlier invitation over the pending case on Monday morning. She posted in her S handle 
at 10.7 a.m. on Monday that she had just arrived at the Commission's office. I have, at my behest, arrived at the headquarters of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, to honor the investigation by the anti graft agency to offer clarification in respect of some issue that the mission is investigation, investigating, she tweeted. EFCC spokesperson Dele Oyelewale similarly confirmed development in a telephone interview with our reporter, saying Ms. Sadia Omar Farouk arrived at our office this morning. The ongoing investigation by the EFCC resolved around the staggering sum of that $7.1 billion, alleged laundering, laundered by officials of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, then led by Ms. Ms. Mrs. Omar Farouk as the minister. The EFCC had earlier grilled Halima Shehu, the suspected national coordinator and chief executive officer of the National Social Investment Program Agency, NSIPA, being supervised by the ministry. The commission detained Ms. Mrs. Shehu after raiding NEPA's office in the Federal Secretariat Abuja on 2nd January. She was held for questioning to the following day when she was released on bail. Ms. Shehu, who was recently suspended by President Bola Tinubu, was responsible for overseeing the coordination cash transfer program during President Muhammad Buhari's administration. She was replaced with Akindele Ewualo in acting capacity. The EFCC also summoned Mr. Umar Farouk for questioning over the case, but she requested a rescheduling of the appointment. <laughs> Would I not see as it happen? Um, Obodon Ka Atalaja, Obodon Nigeria Atalaja, Obodo Atalaja, Obodo Nigeria Atalaja, Obodo Atalaja, Obodo Nigeria Atalaja, for Venezuela, they don't uh, arrest Nigerian and Venezuelan nationals with 880 grams of mburu, mburu cocaine. <laughs> uh, now, for India, now they arrest these people. Of course, you know how this, um, um, which they call them, Asia country, they follow thread their matter. Uh, in some of these countries, they, they buy people where we say that they catch. Uh, with this kind of thing, <laughs> uh, now, well, as you know, uh, a get one prophet where they call TV Joshua. Um, many investigations don't they go inside the mind matter, and plenty of people they talk women, and the rest of them they talk say, um, uh, in sleep with them, in have canal knowledge of them. Uh, plenty of people don't they make confession, and this thing started after the man of God. Maybe they they call to be Joshua die, uh, and I so this thing happen. Uh, Emmanuel uh, Amokachi, uh, where we say they played football, also uh, don't talk waiting him pass through. Uh, when he even go for TB Joshua Church, according to Emmanuel Daniel Amokachi said he slept at the altar of TB Joshua's church for weeks. The former Nigerian international has sought healing following a protracted knee injury. Amokachi left disappointed, saying. He left without being healed. <laughs> um, you see, um, people they like suffer Chineke uh, after uh, Chineke don't do uh, plenty things. Uh, another person say I spent a week at TB Joshua's altar for miracle that never came. Say Daniel. <laughs> when I don't see, I see they happen. People don't they do their confession, but me. Uh, I know follow them they there. Yeah. Uh, one thing people should also understand be say, man of God, uh, no be people where they do the miracle. Now God Himself, now they do the miracle. Uh, but I know go blame people because now the man of God carry themselves put in this position uh, where people go they blame them if miracle no happen for them. Normally, now God Himself, now they do miracle. Miracle no they come from human being. Now God they do them. But now the man of God them uh, don't put themselves for this kind of condition where we say. Um, if people come to church, they go to expect say miracle go happen for them uh, because uh, man of God day. And I say a uh, man of God. Una sorry you make una try to the make people understand say una self no be God. Na God una they serve. And a true una God they carry perform miracle. No be una self self they perform them. Uh, na una fault be that. Um, teacher, no teach me nonsense. Me why na here I go to wind down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead 
and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first. Well, collector, thank you for listening. God bless you.